Happy 2022 everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jessie, also known as Miss Cherry, and if you're a returning guest, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm so thankful that all of you are here because we have so many fun things to go over today. If you have never seen this series, we do a series over here on the channel called What's New, and we go over the monthly releases that Loungefly has. Loungefly is a fandom brand that has all sorts of different products, uh, such as bags, purses, uh, pins. They also have Stitch Shop, which is their um, complete collection of clothing, and all of it is inspired by certain fandoms. There's fandoms like uh, basically everything that you can think of. Disney, Harry Potter, Sanrio. We've got NFL, MLB, kind of a whole plethora of different things. Universal Monsters, Universal Studios. There's a lot. And every month they have a pre-orders time frame that happens where their pre-orders release. So what we're going to be showing today are releases that are going to come out in February of 2022. So what that means is that if you order them today, then you will be receiving them in the mail sometime in February of 2022. Now, if you're interested in finding where you can get these bags, I have listed a bunch of different shops down below for you, um, for you to be able to uh, purchase these bags if you are interested in pre-ordering them. Now, keep in mind, not all of the shops have the entire range that I'm gonna be showing you today. So that's why I link several, and that way you can kind of pick and choose where you want to shop but we have so many fun bags today and guys why don't we go ahead and get started let's find out what's new start with pop bags. So we're going to start with the first pop bag and this is the Pop by Loungefly Disney Lion King Pride Rock mini backpack. Now this mini backpack features Simba, Nala, Rafiki, Zazu, Timon and Pumbaa, and then it also has Scar and the Three Hyenas. Uh, this all has gold hardware. There are, I believe there are side pockets. It looks like there are where Timon and Pumbaa are on the side, which is really fun. It's got the Pop by Loungefly uh, plaque on it, and it is got a really cute picture of Simba on the back, and it looks like he is eating the grub worms, which kind of makes sense because I think the scene for the grub worms are on the side of the bag. This also has has a lounge fly Disney Lion King Pride Rock wallet and this wallet is a vertical style wallet and this is the iconic scene where Rafiki is holding Simba up we all know we all know the scene and on the back it looks like it's either grown-up Simba or maybe it's Mufasa I'm kind of leaning towards grown-up Simba but I'm not 100% certain on this. It does zip all the way around and the interior lining is the same as the large backpack and it's just some really fun like little tribal patterns and the different pop figurines kind of all spread out over it. Next we're going to move right into Disney bags which are my favorite bags that they make. The first bag that we are going to look at is the Disney Peter Pan Glow Clock Mini Backpack. Yes, it is a glow-in-the-dark backpack, which is super fun. So the windows and the clock are both glow-in-the-dark. Also, the clock has movable arms, so you can set the time, which is really fun. It's got Peter and the Darling Children, as well as Tinkerbell, flying over Big Ben. And on the back, oh my gosh, I love the back of this backpack. It says just a little pixie dust, and there's pixie dust all around, and Tinkerbell bell kind of on the top of that little saying which I think is so cute. There is a zipper pull that happens to be Nana the dog which is super cute and then as you'll see the lining is the London skyline and then it's got Peter and the darling children and also Tinkerbell flying over that skyline, which is really fun. Next, we're gonna go into the crossbody bag. Oh yes, this crossbody is beautiful. So I love the style of this. I'm just a little bit disappointed that the feature of Tinkerbell is not kind of the main feature on the back because I'm such, I'm like really into Tinkerbell right now. So it's got the flap is the, is the clock and then you've got Wendy, Peter and the darling children kind of underneath the clock, including Tinkerbell. And then on the back, it's got Nana and it's 
says think happy thoughts. Now I do think that that is really cute and I do love that they feature second star to the right. Really prominently on the back of that bag I have it tattooed on myself. I love the second star to the right. I think it's such a beautiful iconic Disney emblem so I love seeing it. This bag also has a detachable crossbody strap so you can use it as just a handbag if you so choose. It also comes with a matching wallet. This is a zippered vertical wallet similar to what we saw in the pop bag. And this features Peter, Wendy, the darling children flying over Big Ben, very similar to the front of that backpack with the same interior lining. Now we've got a new bag that is a Marie Sweets mini backpack. So we have seen kind of a cupcake theme going on. There's a Minnie Mouse cupcake and now we have a Marie cupcake and I actually think I prefer this cupcake a little bit more than the Minnie Mouse cupcake. I'd love to know what do, what you think down below because the coloration of this I think is just so beautiful. It has the light pink and dark pink striped cupcake paper on the bottom of the bag. It's got the icing. It's got Marie's ears and Marie's little tuft of white hair with her bow. It is so precious. I do not like the back of this bag. <laughs> I really wish that they would have continued that really beautiful uh, striped print that was the, the light pink and dark pink kind of on the back of this bag, um, but they didn't. They made it the, the color of the cupcake, which I thought was kind of an interesting choice. Um, and then Marie is um, on the back of the bag, which is super cute. Um, it does show that there are embroidered details. I'm not 100% sure what is embroidered on the bag, but it does look super cute. And then the interior lining is an all over print that is Cupcakes and Marie, which is, I just think this is such a super cute design. I just don't love the back of the backpack. So then we're moving on to the wallet. The wallet is a horizontal style flap wallet with a snap, and it has the same interior lining as the backpack, and it features the same icing and ears and tuft of fur as the mini backpack itself. Super duper cute, love the coloration of this bag. Moving on, we have a new all over print princess bag. <sighs> Here we are. <laughs> I'm just not sure I love this brown color. I understand why they do it because they need a neutral color behind the cakes. So these are cakes that are like Disney bounding as princesses, right? So you've got all different types of princesses featured and they are represented in cakes. Um, they did this last year, maybe it was the year before with princesses and their ice cream cones. And um, they just did it with books as well. So now they're doing it with cake. I'm not really in love with it. Not that my opinion matters. We're just talking about what's being released. Um, but I'm not a big fan of the brown. But anyway, so it's got a brown background. It does look like there's icing kind of drawn um, on all of the edges, which is very gingerbread-esque to me. It reminds me of the gingerbread bag that they just released in December. It does have golden hardware, which is really nice. And the interior lining is kind of funny because it's an all over print, but it's only slices of the cake. It's not the actual cakes, which I thought was like a really cute kind Kind of detail so I do like that. This style of bag also has a wallet that goes with it and this wallet is a small horizontal style wallet. Same all over print as you have with the backpack and same interior lining. I gotta know what do you guys think of this bag? Are you a fan of the brown? I know some people really really loved like the gingerbread print and the browns that they've been incorporating in other bags and I would love to know what your opinion is down in the comments down below. Next I okay <laughs> so what I feel that they lacked in the design of the cake bag they made up by tenfold with these bags oh my gosh I am obsessed the first bag that they have released and I'm hoping that this is going to be an entire series is the Loungefly Disney Snow White cosplay cake crossbody bag <gasps> yes okay so it's a cake that's a Disney bounding as Snow White, which is so cute. So it's got all the different layers or different colors that are kind of representative of Snow White. You've got her little bow. You've got her little apple that's a it's like a little bag charm. You've got golden hardware and then there is a little shoulder strap that is red. I am obsessed with this. The interior lining is little bluebirds and little pieces of the Snow White cake. Mmm. I love this. This is nine and a half inches by five inches by six inches. So just to give you kind of a perspective of how big it is, it's actually a decent size, which I'm pretty excited about. Oh, if they come out with an aerial 
cake bag. Whew. Catch me on pre-order night, like getting it. Super excited about it. Next, <laughs> I just love these designs. These designs are epic. So they also have a little card holder wallet that has the actual full cake, which you may have seen on the previous image of the Disney cake bag. Um, but this is the full image of the cake, a little bluebird sitting on top of it. So cute, not sanitary, super cute still. Um, and then it's got different colors on the card holder. And then at the back has like a little bit of icing or what it looks like icing and then like the little teardrops that you see on her dress. This next bag. I'm wearing Rapunzel today for a reason. Whew, I'm gonna have a really hard time not buying this bag and I might have to buy it. <laughs> this is the Tangled Clock Cosplay Cake Crossbody Bag. First of all, the coloration is stunning. We are so here for it. It's it's very Perry, as we would say, which is the Pantone color of the year for 2022. It is like so representative of the year. I'm obsessed with it. So <laughs> um, it's got a purple tier, a pink tier, and a lavender tier. There's sprinkles on the cake. The icing on the top and on the bottom of the cake looks like Rapunzel's hair, and it's got the little flowers. There is a little corset detail, a bow. It's got a Pascal bag charm. Like, stop it. I can't. I'm so curious to know how these bags will open because there's not really any representation of like where the zipper is or how they'll open, but either way, we are here for it. It's got a gold hardware, little uh, golden uh, shoulder strap. The interior lining is again very peri. Periwinkle purple and it's got little pascals and little pieces of cake. The card holder looks very similar to the one of Snow White. It's got the full cake with pascal and then it's got some details that are found in the dress and also on Rapunzel. Chef's Kiss Loungefly. We are so here for this collection. I love the slices of cake so much. Let me know down below. Are you on this cake train? Because I am I am living for these slices of cake. Would these be like the cutest display items? Oh my gosh, I am, okay. I, yes, 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 yes. Moving on, the 85th anniversary for Disney's Snow White. So they are doing an anniversary collection for Snow White. This bag very much looks like her dress. So it's like got all of the basic colors of her dress. I love the detail of the handle. The handle is a bow, which is super duper cute. You've got the two bluebirds on the front, little woodland creatures on the front pocket. And then on the back, you've got Snow White and all the woodland creatures. And it says fairest of them all. This backpack has debossed, embroidered, and printed elements, and it has enamel charm details. The enamel charm detail that they're referring to is a little apple zipper pull that is found on the front pocket. The interior lining features an 85 representing the 85th anniversary for Snow White, and then it's got Snow White in different positions and little woodland creatures kind of all around her. And that lining is going to be consistent for the next two items that I'm going to show you. The next item I'm going to show you is the crossbody bag. This is so cute. I love the handle. So this is the crossbody, but it does have like a handbag handle and it is a giant bow, which I love bows. So I thought that this was such a cute detail. It's got a really pretty apple on the front flap of this crossbody bag, as well as the two birds. And then on the back, you've got woodland creatures. And then it has a saying, but I'm not 100% sure what the saying is. Um, but there are debossed, embroidered, and printed details on this bag. And then also, it comes with a wallet. So you've got your wallet that looks very similar to Snow White's dress. And then it's got some woodland creatures featured on it. If you've been to my channel before, you know I am a hardcore Little Mermaid fan. And this bag. Girl. <laughs> yes, I was like. <laughs> okay, this is the Disney Little Mermaid Aerial Fireworks Mini Backpack. And yes, the fireworks light up. They light up. They light up. Stop it. Okay. On the front pocket, we've got Sebastian, Flounder, and Ariel getting ready to fully stalk Prince Eric without him knowing. Like they are like on a mission and Ariel is on 
a mission to get her man or at least look at her man in a close manner in like maybe a creepy stocky way we're not 100 sure but we support it either way she was safe about it kind of okay so then the top part of the bag is her like swimming towards the boat she's doing a full <laughs> I was gonna say Ryan Lochte, but I don't think that that's an appropriate reference. <laughs> she's doing like a, she's doing a dive. She's doing a dive, going towards the boat and then there's fireworks, full moon, it's stunning. On the back, there are fireworks and scuttle, which we are so here for. This bag is like a beautiful navy blue color. <sighs> I love it, we are so here for it. And also the moon and the stars glow. Give me all the glow and light up details. I'm so here for it. Next, we've got the same crossbody bag and I actually think I prefer the crossbody bag to the backpack. And the only reason is because I like that it's just like one continuous scene instead of set two separate scenes. Does that make sense? So I like that there is that like one consistent scene. The only thing that I'm missing is that there's no scuttle featured and I am obsessed with scuttle. So. There's some give and take with the design, give and take. But the back of the crossbody bag actually features Sebastian looking very worried. The crossbody straps do come off, so you can use this as just strictly a handbag. And then also this design has a wallet. And the wallet features the scene where they are getting ready to stalk and then the scene, the Ryan Lochte scene. So <laughs> the lining for these is all of the fireworks and also scuttle flying. So that is consistent for the lining for all of the collection. Next, we are moving on to a Tangled bag. <laughs> I wore Tangled for a reason today. So first of all, I want to say I love the Castle collection. This is part of the Castle collection. If you have not been following along on the Lounge Play pre-orders that have been happening, every month they've had a Princess's Castle collection bag that is a backpack, crossbody, and also wallet. And so every month the different princess is featured, and this month it happens to be Tangled and it's Rapunzel's time to shine and did she shine first of all the color of this bag is beautiful it is this like rich teal color on the front of the bag it features the lantern scene which everyone loves the lantern scene there is rapunzel and flynn rider in front of the castle as the lanterns are floating it is just so beautiful it is so beautiful. On one side of the bag, you've got the plaque and it looks like on the side of the bag, you have the guy that's dressed as Cupid, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The lining happens to be the lanterns and then the back of this bag, the back of this bag is her parents hugging her. And I'm like, I can't. It's just so good. It is just such a good bag. I'm obsessed with this. But I think I, I, if I'm going to have to choose, I think I'm going to go with the crossbody because you'll find out this crossbody is amazing. Okay, moving on to the crossbody. Same image on the front, but as you'll notice, there's a bag charm of the guy that is the <laughs> Cupid. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. I'm thankful that they included it because I think it is such a great part of that film. So kudos to you, Loungefly, for making that as part of the design. The crossbody straps do come off, so you can use this as strictly a handbag. And then the back of the bag is the same detail with her parents, which I'm just realizing she's like one of the only Disney characters that still has both of her parents. Interesting. I guess I never thought about that until just now. Anyway, <laughs> interesting. Um, next, we have the Princess Castle zip around wallet. Um, same front and back as the backpack and it is a vertical and it is a zip around. So there are is so there is a zipper element to it. Next. <gasps> oh, this one. Oh, this bag is so good. Like, so, 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 so good. Okay, for all my Beauty and the Beast fans out there, for all my Gaston fans out there, buckle your flipping seat, buckle your seatbelts now. Keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle at all times because we are going on a ride and we are gonna look at this incredible Gaston bag. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Here it is, guys. We've got Gaston, the very angry, mischievous, hot 
Gaston looking down at the magical mirror. The magical mirror, my friends, is a lenticular. So one side is Beast, other side Belle looking very bewildered and also reading a book. Girl, you alienated yourself, okay? Um, <laughs> while the entire town looks upon her, girl. <sighs> Just put your book down and say hello to people. Anyway, um, so then it's got beautiful golden hardware, but the best part about this bag to me is the back has embroidered, I think it's gonna be embroidered, biceps to spare. <laughs> Yes, I am so here for this. I love this. This is so funny to me. Um, and then the lining is just red and then it's got uh, yellow like silhouettes of Gaston. Actually, they're more like drawings. You can see some details in there. And then we have the zip around wallet and the zip around, it just keeps getting better guys. So we've got the zip around wallet. Gaston is showing his muscles to Belle. Belle's not looking impressed. I'm impressed. It's fine. Um, and then the back of the bag has a three bimbets and also LeFou. Chef's kiss. Couldn't be a more perfect lounge fly backpack out there at all. It's, it's everything. Well done. Well done. I might have to add this to my collection. <laughs> Next, we're gonna move on to some Marvel bags. So we've got a really awesome Falcon Captain America mini backpack with wings that actually move up and down. <laughs> like this. <laughs> um, amazing, this bag is beautiful. And it also has a matching wallet that is a horizontal zip around wallet that's the smaller version. And the lining is an all over print of the uh, Captain America Falcon emblem. It's so pretty. I love this bag. Perfect to take with you to Disneyland to go to DCA for the Avengers campus. It is everything. And next we're going to move on to our Sanrio bags. So there are three Sanrio bags. The first bag that we are going to look at is the My Melody Karomi double pocket backpack. That means that there are going to be two pockets in the front of that bag. Super duper cute coloration. I love this. It's got Karomi and also uh, My Melody together on the lining and it's kind of an all over print inside and then you've got Karomi and My Melody on the back of the backpack which is super cute. Now this crossbody is adorable so you can choose which one you want to have like kind of facing everyone so you can choose My Melody or you can choose Karomi. It's such a cute um, element where you can kind of choose like what your mood is for the day. I love that. The uh, crossbody strap is detachable so you can use it as just a handbag only. And then also it's got a super cute wallet that comes with it as well that is a flap wallet that snaps together with a little zippable coin purse. I love this design. I love it. Love it. Next, we are going to move on to Pokemon bags. So we've got a really beautiful Bulbasaur all over print mini backpack. I think, I think that this all over print is so lovely. It's got little white flowers and then it's got Bulbasaur in all sorts of different poses, which I think is super cute. The interior lining is kind of a monochromatic version of what's on the outside of the bag. Then we also have a Bulbasaur mini backpack, which, oh my gosh, I love this. I think it's so cute. He looks like he is having the time of his life, like he's smiling, or maybe he's getting ready to go into battle. He's like, put me in, coach. Um, and then it's got 001 on the back of the mini backpack. And then you've got a wallet for this collection that is the same as the all over print and also that same lining. Next, we're going to move on to Animaniacs. Do you guys remember Animaniacs? So they have an Animaniacs bag that features all of the Animaniacs. And then on the back of the bag, it features the uh, pigeons. And then on the side of the bags are Pinky and the brain. Pinky's on one side and the brain is on the other, which I think is so fun. It's got silver, I'm sorry, it's got gold hardware and it's also got a zip around wallet. And the inside of the bag is an all over print of the three Animaniacs faces, which I think is super cute. I haven't seen that show in a long time. <gasps> oh, if you know me at all, you know I love E.T. so much. I love E.T. Okay, so we have an E.T. bag and it glows in the dark, friends. So it's E.T. 
with his light up finger and he's holding on to a plant and then it's got him and Elliot riding in the bicycle above and then on the back it says I'll be right here yes 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 lining it's a moon it's Elliot and him on the bike so cute it also comes with a flap wallet. The flap wallet has ET. It's not showing his finger though. It's showing the pot of flowers. Show the finger. Show the, we wanna see the finger. Okay, anyway. Um, and then it says ET on the plaque, which is really fun. So it says ET and Loungefly. Mm, obsessed with it. Guys, did you love ET? Are you an ET fan? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, next we've got a 40th anniversary. 40th anniversary for Care Bears. I love almost everything about this bag. <laughs> okay, let me explain myself. Okay, so on the front of the bag, you've got one, two, three, four Care Bears, and you've got a, a bird, and you've got a castle, the castle, which is super cute. It's got like little flags. There is no cheer bear. I would have bought this bag if there was cheer. Cheer Bear is nowhere to be found. Cheer Bear has been my favorite Care Bear since I was a little girl. So anyway, um, it's a no for me. <laughs> you guys. And then the back of the uh, backpack straps have a rainbow detail. <gasps> girl. Silver hardware. We love silver hardware. I'm so here for it. Are you a silver hardware person? Is it just me? It's okay if it's just me. Um, also... Moving on to the crossbody, this is where it really shines. So the crossbody has an all over print, which features Cheer Bear, by the way, in case anyone was curious. Um, so Cheer Bear is there, we're obsessed. But the best part of this bag, the handle for the handbag is a rainbow. Mm, love it. Silver uh, hardware is halfway up your crossbody strap and then it's got a white detail for the shoulder strap. So cute, it is detachable. I definitely would use this as a handbag only to feature that rainbow. Oh, so pretty. And then the interior lining is also really beautiful. It says Care Bears 40th. And then it has all sorts of different details of rainbows, all different types of Care Bears. It's so cute. And then the zip around wallet is the Care Lot zip around wallet. It has featured four Care Bears, not Cheer Bear. Not Cheer Bear. And then <laughs> And then it's got a little heart cut out for the ID, which we really love. Same lining as the mini backpack and also the crossbody. It is a really cute detail. Now we're gonna be moving on to some exclusives. So sometimes we talk about exclusives and what exclusives are, are they are small shops that partner with Loungefly to create different um, exclusive bags to their shop. So let's talk about the first one. So the first one is an World 1 1 Games exclusive and this is a Darth Vader Sugar Skull all over print Star Wars mini backpack. I love the details of this with the roses and then the Darth Vader helmet is painted to look like a Sugar Skull. Such a unique and interesting backpack and all of these exclusives are going to be linked in the description box down below. The next backpack is a Pokemon backpack also from World 1 1 Games and this is a Magikarp backpack and it's got Magikarp on all of his different forms and it also has these really pretty wave elements, blue details, and silver hardware. It's a really neat bag. It looks very similar to the Bulbasaur all over print bag that we saw earlier in the video. Merch Ventures, and I will link their information down below. And it is a crossbody poisoned apple bag, which I think is so stunning. I'm actually working on a craft project right now, um, bedazzling a bag very similar to this, but this one is definitely a lot higher quality than the one that I have that I bought off Amazon, but that's a different story. <laughs> so if you're looking for a really cute crossbody poisoned apple bag to celebrate Snow White's 85th anniversary, that is the place to get it from. Now this exclusive is so pretty. This is the Pink a la Mode exclusive and I have to say Pink a la Mode really has amazing exclusives. They're one of my favorite shops that have exclusives. And this is the Very Perry. I'm, I'm calling it the Very Perry. 
sequin bag, which is the Pantone color of the year, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm obsessed. It's my favorite color, so that's why I'm mentioning it so much. Also, it's the color of figment. Mm, here for it. This bag is the bag of my dreams. It's so beautiful. It has a really amazing holographic bow that is in purple. All of these like holographic kind of details around the edging of the zippers and behind um, the side pockets. It's also there. It's so pretty. I'm very curious to know what color the straps are if they decided to go with that holographic strap. I definitely think this one is actually going to go home with me tonight uh, because it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. Next, we are going to talk about uh, Modern Pinup. Modern Pinup has not released their bags as of yet as far as like teasers or what they are but they are have they have two exclusive mini backpacks that are coming and also one exclusive wallet so be sure to check them out after this video and see what they are uh, putting out there for exclusives and then the circle of hope boutique is also kind of peeping in this little treasure chest here like a sequined green bag so i'm really curious to see what that is it may be themed towards a character it may May just be a green Mickey sequin bag. We're not 100% sure. If you have any guesses, let me know down in the comments down below. And then I would be remiss without mentioning um, the new Disney Parks lounge flies that are coming during 2022. So in 2020, we had the Minnie Mouse main attractions collection. So every month, Minnie Mouse was, uh, we had a collection that came out that was a a plush, a pin set, a lounge fly backpack, um, ears. Am I missing something else? Anyway, if I'm missing something else, please let me know. I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, every month and it was themed, Minnie Mouse was themed towards a certain attraction that was at Disney. So they had like Space Mountain, Pirates, they had Jungle Cruise, they had all sorts of different attractions, Big Thunder Mountain, etc. And so now what they're doing is they're coming out with the Mickey version of that collection. And I have some opinions on it. Um, I'm not super happy about it because it's just not very creative to me. I was really looking forward to like a very exciting monthly collection that would be really different and maybe fun, um, but it's not to me. <laughs> I wasn't a huge fan of the Minnie Mouse Main Attractions collection outside of the Jungle Cruise. I really loved the bag for Jungle Cruise, but that was really the only one that I collected. I would love to know what your thoughts were on the Minnie Mouse Main Attractions collection. Um, and I will link the information down below in case you're not familiar with it but they did release the two bags for January and also for February what they're going to look like so I believe January is going to be Space Mountain and so here's the Space Mountain bag and then here is the Pirates bag that I believe is coming out in February so you'll notice the big differences between the Minnie Mouse main attraction and the Mickey Mouse main attraction is that there's no bow right? Because Minnie Mouse wears a bow and then also the front pocket is made to look like Mickey's pants so <laughs> I'm not super impressed. I would love to know what you think down below because I'm just, I don't know. I just, I'm not in love with it yet. Now I may eat my words in like a month or two or maybe in a few days. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> and we still do not know if they're going to do um, like the lottery that they did previously with the other collections. We're just not really sure a whole lot about the details of what's happening with this collection. It'll be really interesting to see how this all unfolds because the Minnie Mouse Main Attraction collection was a little bit of a mess trying to get a hold of any of the merchandise. So anywho, that is going to do it for us guys. That is the in total everything that's coming out for pre order orders for February. I would love to know which one of these bags was your favorite, which one you may be ordering tonight, or you may be ordering here in the future if you're seeing this video a little bit later. But that is going to do it for us. Everything is going to be linked down below as far as information for these bags. And I had so much fun with you. If you made it till the end of this video, please be sure to put down a little backpack emoji down below. So I know you that you made it to the end. And if you enjoyed this video, please Please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe down below. Lots of fun Disney content and magical lifestyle content is coming your way very soon. Happy New Year and I will see you guys in the next video. TTFN!
Bye.